Toyota, the world's largest automaker, is throwing shade at the electric vehicle revolution. No matter how much progress EVs make, I think they will still only have a 30% market share, said Akio Toyota, former Toyota CEO and a seasoned veteran in the automotive world. This industry titan, with years of experience under his belt, saw through the hype surrounding EVs when others were blindly jumping on the bandwagon. He sounded the alarm, cautioning against going all in on electric vehicles. His message? Customers, not regulations or politics, should make the decision on what path to rely on. But that's not all. They're aiming for just 30 EV models by 2030, while Volkswagen is revving up plans for a whopping 70, and BMW stepping on the accelerator, planning to jack up its EV production by a whopping 50% in the same time frame. On the other hand, Toyota has been silently brewing two secret projects that could reshape the future of electric cars as we know it. Brace yourself for the unveiling of a revolutionary engine promising an astonishing 1,000 miles of range. Yes, you heard that right, a game changer in the making. But more on that later. Akio Toyota, the visionary behind Toyota, has been consistently challenging the EV narrative, leading to the surprising removal from his role. In his place now stands Koji, the current CEO, steering the ship in a new direction. Why the sudden change? Well, the pressure was mounting as the industry pivots towards electric vehicles, and Toyota, a big advocate for a hybrid future, stands firm on his unconventional approach, embracing hybrid, fuel cell, and even gas vehicles. But Toyota is not backing down, and investors are questioning the company's commitment for not ditching gasoline-powered cars. At a recent meeting, Toyota's CTO, Masahiko Maeda, responded, the goal is carbon neutrality, but customers need choices. In the evolving landscape of electric vehicles, Vehicles, Toyota navigates a delicate balance between environmental commitments and the diverse preferences of its customer base. Let's break down Toyota's argument. Their CTO, Mr. Masahiko, is steering the conversation toward the practicalities of electric vehicles, emphasizing that not everyone can currently afford to hop on the EV bandwagon. Charging infrastructure hurdles and concerns about EV fires are also thrown into the mix. Toyota's chairman is adopting a panoramic view, urging us to consider everyone in the equation, not just the early adopters of electric vehicles. And truth be told, he's got a point. Even the mighty Elon Musk, the trailblazer of the EV revolution, recently faced a harsh reality check. And if that doesn't tell you anything, listen up. Tesla's third quarter earnings were nothing short of a disaster. Tesla's shares took a nosedive, dropping 12%, wiping out an eye-watering $80 billion off the company's market value. It's a breathtaking reversal for a company that seemed unstoppable in leading the charge toward an all-electric future. This narrative goes beyond the headlines, and we're here to unravel it all. Akio Toyota challenges the widespread embrace of electric cars, pointing out that a billion people still lack access to electricity globally. He argues that electric vehicles face hurdles due to their cost and the need for charging infrastructure. While recognizing the importance of alternative technologies, Toyota admitted that it was hard to fight alone. Additionally, he speculates on a potential shift in financial dynamics, suggesting that banks might cease lending to companies persisting in the construction of fossil fuel fuel-powered engines. Truth be told, all other manufacturers are facing issues with EV production. General Motors threw a wrench into its plans, delaying the launch of the Chevy Silverado EV by a full year. And Ford, after selling EVs at a loss of $36,000 per car for the past year, decided to pull the plug on F-150 Lightning production. It's a tough scene out there for EV sales, with industry giants like Tesla, Ford, and GM all feeling the heat. Unsold EV are accumulating in lots, and the anticipated demand is simply not materializing. But here's where the plot thickens. Despite Akio Toyota's warnings, Toyota has entered the EV arena. However, it's not out of fear or pressure. Toyota has something up its sleeve, something that, according to insiders, could outshine the current EV craze. Stick around, because in just a couple of minutes, we'll uncover the secret weapon that Toyota believes is a game changer in the ever-evolving automotive landscape. Escape. Now, hold on tight, because we're diving into the political battleground surrounding the automotive world. 
The Biden administration has recently rolled out emissions norms, pushing companies to embrace electric vehicles to comply. And if that's not wild enough, the government is aiming for an ambitious goal. 60% of all cars sold in the U.S. should be battery-powered by 2030. But here's the twist. A major EV reliability report from Consumer Reports is causing shockwaves, revealing that EVs are 80% more likely to break down compared to their gas-powered counterparts. The plot thickens as repair costs skyrocket, with some owners facing bills ranging from $30,000 to $40,000 for minor damages. And the cost of repairing an electric car? 25% higher than its gasoline or diesel counterpart on average. But does Toyota see a future in making making stellar EVs? In 2023, they sold over 54,000 plug-in electric cars in the U.S., including 14,715 all-electric models and nearly 40,000 plug-in hybrids, a staggering tenfold increase from the previous year. The sudden leap in sales in 2023 is impressive, but Toyota's latest moves suggest they're not fully hitching their wagon to the all-electric dream. Models like the RAV4 Prime plug-in hybrid, the all-electric BZ4X, and the Lexus RZ are making waves, collectively selling nearly 13,000 units in Q4 2023. It's clear there's a growing appetite for these electrifying rides, but Toyota is keeping its options open and playing the EV game strategically. Get ready for more twists and turns as we navigate the complex landscape of automotive politics and shifting market dynamics. Hold the phone, because Toyota is throwing some curveballs in the EV game. Despite an electrifying performance, Toyota has left many scratching their heads when slashing their 2023 EV sales forecast by nearly 40%. What's the deal, you ask? The company said the lower forecast is reflecting the decline in the Chinese market. Rather than diving headfirst into the chaos, Toyota is reverting to its comfort zone, hybrids. This strategic pivot is raising eyebrows, with environmentalists urging Toyota to drop their anti-climate lobbying and fully embrace electrification. Meanwhile, major investors are left pondering if Toyota might be missing the electric boat. In the midst of the storm, Toyota stands firm, asserting that EVs might not be the ideal choice for the average consumer seeking an affordable and reliable car. It seems like Toyota is tuned in to what buyers really want. The burning question arises, why can't companies pivot away from pushing costly EVs and start aligning with the desires of the public? Well, Toyota is about to redefine the EV landscape, introducing groundbreaking battery tech that promises to take electric vehicles to unprecedented heights. Picture this. By 2026, Toyota plans to roll out a battery with a 621-mile range, coupled with a 20% cost reduction and a swift 20-minute charging time from 10 to 80% power. And that's just the beginning. Fast forward to 2027-2028, and Toyota is eyeing a technology technological marvel, the all-solid-state battery. This innovation aims for a 745-mile range with a rapid 10-minute charge and an even more ambitious, nearly 1,000-mile range for a higher-level specification battery. Toyota is not just driving change, they're steering the future of electric mobility. Driving on a journey towards sustainable mobility, Toyota has experienced a notable surge in hydrogen fuel cell vehicle sales, with the MEAI model at the forefront of this eco-friendly movement. Despite a tentative start, Toyota proudly reports an extraordinary 166% surge in global sales for its hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, signaling a heightened interest in alternative fuel technologies. This impressive uptick aligns with Toyota's commitment to diversifying its automotive offerings, extending beyond conventional internal combustion engines and electric vehicles. The efficiency of hydrogen refueling taking a mere minute and a half for the Toyota Yaris GRH2 surpasses the time needed to refuel a Toyota Camry with gasoline. Noteworthy for their simplicity, hydrogen-powered engines facilitate easy repairs at local garages, eliminating the need for specialized mechanics. Toyota's stance is clear-cut. They are not dismissing electric vehicles, yet they are not wholeheartedly embracing them at a rapid pace. Led by Akio Toyota, the company received flack for its measured transition to EVs, particularly as the worldwide appetite for battery electric vehicles surpassed the company's cautious projections. Some folks argue that Toyota's prioritization of hybrids seemed more like a permanent strategy than a traditional move towards EVs. Now, you may be pondering if Toyota 
Honor remains committed to the EV arena? The answer is yes, but not for the reasons one might expect.